Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this is going to be all on my end of year empties. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I think this is the second or the third one that I've done and I've got all my empties right here. Okay, and it's a basket full and I got a little bit of everything. I got some skincare, makeup, body care. I think I have one hair care product in here and I'm not gonna go in any particular order and I got a lot of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so the first one is this lit glitter base and I like to use this with any type of metallic eyeshadow that I use that I really want to pop. I'll just wet my brush a little bit and then go ahead and apply it. Some people use use MAC Fix Plus. Some people just use setting spray. Um, I, I sometimes use that. In fact, um, I also use, now that this has been empty, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. But if you are one that likes to use glitter bases for those type of looks, I would recommend it. But remember, only use a little bit. And uh, it took me two, I want to say two and a half years to use this up. But anyway, I love it and I would definitely repurchase this. All right, so the next one that I I have is this Machino Toy 2 perfume and here it is right here. I'll leave the notes somewhere on the screen but this has been in old favorites videos. Uh, to me it has like a clean type of scent, very soft, uh, not anything really hard but this particular perfume um, I like it because it has a fresh soft scent and for me it is long lasting and I'm thinking that just might be because I use a lot of it would I repurchase this? I have repurchased this. My daughter and I both, um, she has a bottle and I have a bottle, but yeah, we go through this like, I don't know what. So definitely love it. And I would definitely recommend this product. All right, so the next one that I have is a conditioner by Hemp's and this is their all day moisture conditioner. And I liked it. I found it to be thick, you know, just in case you all don't know, I have very thick, coarse 4C hair. And I found that, um, if I apply it and sit under the dryer, you know, leave it on kind of like a deep conditioner, I felt as though it did add some moisture to my hair. Um, would I repurchase this? Probably not. This was kind of on the pricey side to me. And in fact, unless you find this product at like uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, um, it's going to be kind of expensive. And you know, I, th I know that's subjective. So all in all, would I repurchase it? Probably not. But it's not a bad product. All right, so the next one that I have is this infallible 24 our fresh wear foundation and I absolutely loved this foundation. It is so pretty on the skin. I do have videos uh, not of me reviewing it but just kind of talking about it and comparing it to other products. I would definitely repurchase this as well as recommend it. It just has a very light um, kind of on the thin side consistency and I've enjoyed using this and I do recommend it. All right, so this next one is the Physicians Formula Skin Booster Skin Booster Vitamin Shot, and this is the Hydrating Vitamin Shot. And what I liked about this one is that it had like little beads in it that um, kind of provided extra or concentrated ingredients in it, and I really did enjoy using it. Would I repurchase this? I would, but um, when I repurchase it, I'm gonna look for it on sale. You know, Physicians Formula is on the pricier side um, in the drugstore and if you're looking for a serum I would definitely check out their different uh, boosters because each one offers different benefits um, you know like this one this one provides extra hydration but it's really pretty and I like the bottle you know of course that has nothing to do with anything but I would definitely recommend it and repurchase it All right, so this next one is one is by Kate Somerville and this is the exfoliate cleanser I love this hands down. I really like all of Kate Somerville's products. And if you are familiar with my channel, you see a lot of her products. Would I repurchase this? I already have. Uh, Sephora recently had it on sale, the large one for like $20. So that's gonna be coming, uh, I guess next week sometime. It's just a really good product to use. It doesn't strip your skin. It leaves your skin feeling uh, really nice and supple. And I love it and I would definitely recommend it. And and then another one that I have is by Kate Somerville and this is the Exfolicate 
love this love this using her products are just kind of like um, a really nice experience uh, the scents of her products the texture how well it works is to me it's just amazing and I love this and will I repurchase it yes over and over. this is a repurchase <laughs> it's just that when I go in at the time I don't have enough I don't have the money to spend on a large one which is like I think $85 or $80 something like that but this is a good one and I would repurchase it and recommend it all right so this next one <laughs> you all already know if you've seen some of my past videos that this one is an absolute fail this is the La Roche Posay purifying foaming cleanser and this particular cleanser is not good if you have sensitive skin it's going to dry it out to the max um, I wouldn't repurchase it when I used it I found it to be okay but my husband used it as well and it tore his skin up it was terrible um, I I wouldn't recommend it I don't like it and it just didn't work out for me all right so the next one are these little deodorants uh, by ba uh, Bath and Body Works and um, I have the bourbon and the fresh water and I bought these for my the men in my life <laughs> my husband and my son and these little things are strong okay I've you know the scent as far as the scents they didn't like the scents okay um, I like the fresh water the bourbon is a bit more kind of to me on the manlier scent you know like a grown man this one is uh, kind of like a young man <laughs> so either way they both hated it um, I liked it so um, would I repurchase this? Yes, but when I repurchase it again, I would take them to see which ones they like because these things are uh, very concentrated. And to me, when you buy a deodorant type of product or body spray, you want the scent to be uh, the, you want the scent projected, projectile. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I um, you know, it's like I would I would repurchase this, but in a different scent. So, yeah. All right. So the next one that I have is the Cocoa Butter Nivea Body Cream. And <laughs> we have so many. OK, let, let me let me back up. My daughter has so many in her room and this is the one that I've used up and I really like it. It's very thick, um, kind of on the oily side. And if you were going to use it, I would recommend using it at night. Um, but I did enjoy using it. And I think this was only $5. I would definitely repurchase it. Um, but from here on out, when I'm um, uh, looking for drugstore products, I think I'm going to start trying to shop smarter, um, whereby finding things on sale. So I would repurchase this. This is really good. All right. So this next one is by Rituals. And this is the Ritual of Sakura uh, Cherry Blossom. And I recently talked about this product. And this is a foaming shower gel. Uh, this particular scent, you know, it's, it's interesting because the set came with a scrub, a thick uh, body butter, as well as the foaming um, shower gel. Now, I don't like um, how when you when you press on it, it just psh, it just shoots out. OK, when you're in the shower, so you get it everywhere, but where you want it. And this scent is so strong. Uh, my husband has used this up because I really don't like the shower gel scent because it is so strong i mean you can hit like um when he uses it the scent just comes all the way in the bedroom and then all the way in the uh the the hallway so you know i guess that's a good thing it would be better if i was uh, more in love with the scent but if you like cherry blossom i would definitely check this out just be careful with the the projectile uh, the the spray now will i repurchase this yes i will for my husband for myself no i don't no i don't want this <laughs> i can't do nothing with this but it's definitely worth the money plus uh the shower when it comes out the the gel is so smooth and silky and creamy it's really nice very nice experience uh for my husband he loved it <laughs> all right so i have two deodorants here and i've talked about these before on my channel i use these up so much this is the sexy intrigue degree uh spray uh deodorant if 
it, let me tell you all, ladies, you got to get sexy intrigue. OK, you have to get it. It's just that scent that, you know, all of us ladies need. It smells good. It, it has a, a grown lady, mature type of scent, if you will. But um, I do have a new scent that I'm trying out that I actually like. I can't even think of it. It's in the restroom. Uh, I'll, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But that one is divine, too. So I'm currently enjoying that one. But sexy intrigue, if you haven't tried it, you got to try this scent. All right. So the next one that I have is by Skin Fix. And this is the foaming clay cleanser. And what I like about this is that if you, whenever my pores are clogged or, you know, my skin feels a little congested or I'm wearing a lot of, I've worn a lot of makeup or I'm doing um, uh, a video and I started at the end, at the beginning of the day and I keep it on all day. This is a really good one to mm. really um, clean your face. Uh, the texture of it is really nice. It's like a uh, a creamy type of uh, texture and it's really nice and I enjoy using this and it really does the job of getting you know all of that uh, gunk off of your face. All right so next is by Go Pier, and this is my eye gel. Um, this one works really well uh, for under eye puffiness and just kind of the overall health of um, your under eye, especially if you have bags or anything like that. Now, if you have major hyperpigmentation or darkness under your eye, I don't think that this will help. I think with that, you should seek consultation with your dermatologist, but this is a really good one for um, under eye prep. I like to use this as a primer and apply it first and then go in with my makeup. And it really does a good job of not over drying my under eye. And this one has hyaluronic acid, Matrixel 3000, vitamin E, plant stem cells. So it's got a lot of good ingredients. And yes, I would definitely repurchase and recommend. All right, so the next one that I have is by Cinema Secrets. And this is the makeup brush cleaner. Loved, loved, love this. Yes, I will repurchase it in a big bottle. Um, the only drawback is that um, it does have a strong chemically smell, but to me that's not enough to keep from actually purchasing it again because it takes the make out because it takes the makeup out of your brushes so fast till you know you just kind of overlook that. But if you're looking for a good brush cleaner um, and you don't mind the strong chemical scent, I would definitely say to check this out. All right, so next I have two products by Benefit and this is super small. I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Loved, love these products. Um, Benefit sent me these probably a year and a half ago, and it's just, and it's taken me just now to finish it. So that just kind of speaks to how long they last. They don't tug at the skin. And to me, you know, it just applies the perfect pigmentation. And the one, the thinner one is really, you know, it's got the spoolie on both ends, uh, but the thinner one is really good for drawing on the little fake hairs. You know, if you're into that, definitely get the thinner one. And then this bigger one, you could use it for the outer part of your eye. Would I purchase this? Um, yes, I would, but not at full price only because, you know, I kind of pick and choose uh, the products that I want to purchase full price. And this one, um, a lot of times you can find these on sales. So yeah, I would get them, but only if they're on sale. All right, so this next one is a hair care product by Carol's Daughter. And this is the Coiling Enhancing Moisture Butter uh, for very dry, curly to coily hair. And this has coconut, mango, and muramura. And this is the cocoa cream. So my husband and both like to use this. He used this a little bit more than me. Well, he used it every day. And I personally think it does a really good job of defining your curls, of course, while keeping your hair moisturized. But I would definitely repurchase this again. Um, as far as the scent, I don't, I don't know if I like the scent, but that's just, you know, me. Um, so yeah good product and I definitely would repurchase it. All right, so this next one is actually my second bottle of this and I know you all are all familiar with this. This is the CEO Sunday, Sunday Riley. 
vitamin C brightening serum with 15% advanced vitamin C to rapidly brighten and brighten the appearance of the skin and boost vital skin balance in a flash. Now, for those of you all who shop Sephora, you probably saw that they had this on sale for, I think $40. This is regular $85. So they had it half off and I picked me up another one. This is a really good brightening serum. I would definitely recommend it if you have hyperpigmentation or dark spots. Yes, it is pricey, but uh, please, 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 if you do decide to pick it up and use it, use it consistently and, you know, give it a chance to work. All right. But uh, this particular brightening serum is good. I would recommend it. And yes, I would rebuy it over and over again. This is by Murad and this is their nutrient charge water gel. So not sure if you all are familiar with water gels, but they tend to be a lighter type of consistency. So if you have super oily skin, um, I would recommend looking for a water gel. This one was really nice. It does have uh, like a pink uh, color to it and it absorbs very well into the skin. If you can actually find this in travel size, I would recommend uh, doing that first because the larger one is kind of pricey. So yeah, if you have oily skin, I would definitely check out a water gel and I really loved it. And would I repurchase this? Not now, I wouldn't because I just have so many other water gels that are really good that I'm enjoying, but I would recommend it. All right, so next I have concealers and it has taken me uh, go in upwards of two years to um, use all of these up and I think I have I have an old video where I hauled all these concealers and you know let's just talk about them real fast so the cover effects concealer really like this one the pigmentation is good and what I particularly like about it is that when you apply it you don't have to let it sit and let it dry down before you go ahead and you know uh, blend it out it's really pretty would I def would I repurchase it yes so if you're looking for a good one I would definitely recommend all right so the next one is by benefit and this is is their Boeing Cakeless Concealer. Love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's full coverage. It plays very well with other foundations and things like that. And also like, I'm not sure if y'all have ever experienced this, but when you apply your um, concealer and then you apply your foundation and sometimes you have to go in and blend them and, you know, um, you know, things like that. This one will not lift up foundations that you already have if you have to go back and add more. I found that some concealers um, really don't play well with others when you have to go in and blend. But I love this. I would definitely recommend it and repurchase it again. All right, so this next one is a concealer by Morphe. Now I can tell you right off the bat, I'm not gonna repurchase this. The colors are a little bit off with Morphe's concealers. It is full coverage. I do love that, but it uh, seems like the shades are a bit off. It's okay, but you know, I would just pass on repurchasing it. I would recommend it if you could actually find your shade. Their shades are just kind of off. For me okay so i wouldn't repurchase this because of that but i do love the fact that it's full coverage all right so this next one is by beauty uh bakery and this is the and this is the insta bake concealer this is another one um this had a pink undertone uh the shade that was up above it didn't work for me as well as below I wouldn't repurchase this. Uh, j just the shades are just off. As far as blendability and as far as the coverage, I think it's okay. Um, would I repurchase if it was on sale? If I could find it on sale, yes, but full price, I just wouldn't. All right, so now I have two eyeliners and one is the Slim Eyeliner by Wet n Wild and the other is the Super Slim liquid eyeliner. Uh, this is the 24 hour infallible eyeliner in black noir. And this is by L'Oreal. I would definitely recommend both of these, but you know, I would recommend getting this one over this one simply because of the price. Uh, but they both work the same and they dry down matte. The tip is felt. It's a thin felt tip, which makes good for, you know, putting on eyeliner, especially like right in the inner part. You know, you can get your thin line in there and, you know, kind of make it as large as you want. So definitely like these and I would definitely repurchase. 
All right, so next I have some mascaras. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is by Physicians Formula. I wouldn't repurchase this just because of the price. Um, I think the packaging is super cute. I bought this because of the packaging. And to me, it just doesn't do anything um, more than any of the cheaper drugstore mascaras. I have to say I do like the one because it has the short hard bristles and it's good for getting on the lower lash line and just getting those to really pop and those are really important you know if you're into taking pictures. Speaking of which if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. You'll see that I post a lot of pictures with makeup as well as skincare, but I wouldn't repurchase this. And then I have two more mascaras, two, two face better than sex. Okay. I love it. I really like this, but I like it for my upper, uh, lashes. So definitely like this and would repurchase. And then the other one that I have is by Smashbox and this is Full Exposure. And I like this wand. This is really nice. And I think that this is good for your upper lashes as well as your lower. When you pull it out, you don't get too much on actual hair brushes because a lot of times when you pull it out, if it's too much, it can just kind of clunk up and look a mess. I would definitely purchase the larger size because this one is the travel size. All right, and so the last mascara that I have is by Tarte and I'm, I'm having a brain fart right now. I put the <laughs> name of it on the screen, but I really love this. I like the bristles. They're good for your upper and lower lash and it's good good for adding volume, I think. And I would definitely repurchase this over and over again. It's just a really good mascara. So that's it. Those are all of my empties. Let me know if you used anything that I've talked about down below. Let me know if you agree with my thoughts on my empties or if you disagree. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.